Welcome to this virtual poster pitch on View 5D, which is a Java-based viewer that nicely integrates into Julia. So as you see, it can display five, up to five-dimensional data. Um, you have here what is called elements of color, and here you have time direction. And then you have these orthogonal collected views. So when you're dragging this um, crosshair around, then you will see all of these views updating. If you want more information on View 5D, you can find them under those links here. How does it integrate into Julia? Well, first of all, it supports most of the basic array types, as you can see here. Um, uh, interestingly, it does have full support of complex numbers, displaying them in various ways. And um, it also supports some more derived formats, like um, um, what bioformat load, load, loader returns or test images and so on. And um, it also can be called with tuples of the above, in which case it will append them in the direction how you call it. So how do you call view 5D? Well, there's a standard function called view 5D that you see here, which has lots of arguments. And there's an, a number of convenient functions, but I would recommend mostly to use these macros because they are the most convenient way of calling this. And basically you can, you can just say, for example, here I want to display some more data, please append it in the element direction. That's why there's this VE. You can give it an existing viewer, or if you don't do it by default, it uses the currently active viewer, which is usually the last one that you've actually launched. Um, you can remote control the viewers with, with a number of, of functions that define all, their, all the capabilities of the viewer. And most importantly, there's this process keys function, which allow you to send keys to the viewer. And since everything is sort of attached to a hotkey, you can access a large range of functionality just by this process keys function. So finally, um, how um, can you interact with the viewer? Well, the viewer supports also markers and marker lists that you can use for tagging certain particles, but also for tracking, as you see in this example here. And um, you can import and export such mar marker list as a standard Julia type uh, of a vector of vectors, something like this. So I would end this poster pitch by acknowledging Felix Wechsler, who actually contributed a lot to all of this. And I hope very much that it got you interested enough to actually visit the poster um, where we can discuss about View 5D. See you there.